Ranch and we are headed to our campground. Tonight we're staying at Black Rock Campground. Uh, so we're gonna go set up camp and then make some dinner and have a campfire and relax for the rest of the night. First night of our um, camping in Joshua Tree. Uh, we finished dinner. It's about eight o'clock now, uh, so we are going to play some Yahtzee. I got Yahtzee, but I peaked a little too early and I still lost because <laughs> they ended up scratching three things on the bottom. And so Derek won by, what was your total? 184. By 14 points. Yeah. Not stellar scores on either game, but no. I did enough to win. Yes. So how many games did we play? Two. How many did you win? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's well, you, always next time. You have to ask such tough questions. <laughs> There's always next time. All right. So we have finished up our first day here in Joshua Tree. Uh, we did four different hikes today. We went out to Arch Rock. Then we did Skull Rock and a little bit of a nature trail around that. Uh, then we headed to Hall of the Horrors to do some bouldering. Um, and we ended with Ryan Ranch to the old Adobe um, building that's kind of starting to fall apart. Uh, so we are in the tent now getting ready to read and go to sleep. Hello. So of course it's bedtime and a couple carloads of loud people showed up and hopefully they quiet down soon otherwise it might be a long night. I'd rather hear the coyotes all night long. Good morning. It is Saturday November 4th. Uh, we're on the first morning of our trip of day two. Uh, we're getting some breakfast ready this morning. Um, and then we found out that the hike that we're doing is just right here on the other side of the campsite. Um, so we'll head out there uh, in a couple hours after we eat uh, and relax a little bit. So stay tuned and we're hoping for another good day. yesterday. Uh, most of the park of Joshua Tree are the big rocks, the rock formations. Um, this part is more like just kind of your typical California desert areas. Um, we've got the Joshua trees, the 
the bushes down below, some hills, but not really a lot of rock formations like we saw yesterday. So just getting a little bit of a different experience today um, in this side of the park. Okay, so we just reached the summit of our hike. I didn't know there was a summit, but I guess there was, and so Kelly signed the logbook. Uh, elevation 4490, so it's pretty much all straight uphill on this hike. So it's a pretty good workout. Now we're heading back down uh, to the car, and then we're going to start the rest of our day and go see some of our other sites that we have planned for today. for Barker Dam was packed. We are at Hidden Valley Loop. Um, it's about a one mile loop. Um, we're gonna cut through the rocks um, here and then we do kind of just a little loop amongst the rocks. So we're out on the Hidden Valley Trail and the scenery is much different from our trail earlier this morning amongst the boulders. Uh, so much different scenery and terrain as well. And we're just on our way. Okay, so Hidden Valley keeps getting cooler and cooler. Um, we walked in probably into the middle of it right now. And it looks like kind of like a, like Flintstones, like where the rock quarry is and stuff like that. So I'll put a few, uh, pictures in there just so you can see what we're talking about but it gets very cool as we go through here so we made a second go at Barker Dam uh, but the parking lot was full still uh, cars were circling so unfortunately we weren't able to um, do that hike Um, here in Black Rock Campground. Uh, ended up watching the sunset down at Keys Point. Uh, there's a lot of people there, uh, but we did a little bit of time-lapse photography. Uh, turned out fairly decent, not too bad, uh, but we got back to the campsite. We've got a fire going now, had some dinner, doing a little hot cocoa. We're just going to relax for the rest of the evening. Good morning. It is Sunday, November 5th. We got a little bit extra hour of um, sleep, I guess you could say, in this morning. It was daylight savings, although we woke up at 6.15 um, anyways. But heard uh, coyotes howling very close to the tent last night. It literally sounded like they were right outside. So we might, before we leave today, take a peek and see if we can see any footprints. But we are done today. Uh, we are just eating some breakfast, and then we're going to head out uh, back home. 